Yo, what's up, people? What's up, people? What's up, bro? Yo, good evening, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Can you guys hear me loud and clear? Can you guys hear me loud and clear? Yo, yo. yeah, yeah. Yo, yo, yo. You got headphones in today, yeah? No, actually, for I didn't. Even... Wait, he's off again. Wait, can everyone hear me? Or is it just me? No, I was just turning off the headphones. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yo, uh, we're back. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're well, Rob, back. Rob, allow that, but Rob, Rob, man, man was Rob, there five minutes on time. You know. <laughs> Yo, everyone, let's give it up for Smalls. For me. <laughs> Yo, Yo, Yo Ink. Ink Yo. and money. Ink legend. and money, ink and money. Yo, Smalls. Guys, I, I think today we should just skip the shout outs for today and then let's go. Let's go. Let's let's talk about today, bro. This this is madness. This is this is for me like it's the a, greatest a dream moment. Come true, yeah, yeah, a dream come true. A dream come true for me. Like it's the greatest moment on STS for me personally. And um, yeah, I must I must say let's give a big shout out to Ink and Money for um, helping out us with this. Like uh, without Ink, it wouldn't have been possible. Uh, so ink and money bro big love big love to you bro and yes today we have we have an incredible person in in the in the in the building like this this man is someone that if if there's anyone who deserves to have their picture next to the term sneakerhead in a dictionary this is someone that we need on, on there like i'm telling you one thing that 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 stands out for me about um jumpman bostics um collection is that he was there when it when it started when everything started so buying pairs of shoes in his collections are things that he's like you can you can properly relate to unlike let's say me for instance there are some shoes that dropped and i didn't even have an idea about i didn't even know about so if i go back and reach out to it and get it because i probably learned about it or read about it it's not the mm -hmm. same as someone who's been there to experience everything and grab those shoes at those mm -hmm. moments and that's that's what makes his collection so authentic and the other thing is that is um you see that other people are like bro you know i, I I'm, I'm lost for words Smalls, what are you saying what are you saying I, i'm i don't even know what to say bro because this one's a big one and it? it's like beyond me and that yeah this is this is a person where when like big sneaker heads are talking his names kind of like pop up every now and then you know yeah. so yes i'm really looking forward forward to it like i i'll be very honest i don't know much about yeah. him in terms of like you know but i know mm -hmm. for example fat joe and etc you know when they're talking you know his names pop up yep. so i'm like oh, this yes. Guy, so, yes yes you get me yes. so yeah i'm really looking that, forward that's to it. That, that's why he's 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 the goat's goat that that should tell you something you get yes, me? it so, should tell you something yeah. it should and <laughs> you know what aside everything the best part of it all is how humble and very approachable um jump and bust the kids like you you know that people who have incredible who have like crazy collections and then they are all about flexing it and showing off and you can't show me nothing you can't tell me nothing but he's the one that i, I look up to when i start when i started collecting sneakers and the one who put me on sneakers also looks up to him so yeah bro yeah i, I, I can't wait i can't wait to talk to him about about everything so yeah guys um, I hope you guys interact with it. Feel free to ask any question that you want to during the session, and um, um, let's let's have a great moment, guys. This is this is one for the books. So yeah, uh, let me see if there's if Jumpman. Oh, Jumpman Boss is already here. Send the request. Let me let me accept it now. So guys, let's do this. Yes, yes. Wait, I need. Yo, it's the man himself. Jump man. Busting. Hey, yo! How you doing, legend? I'm good. I'm good. First of all, I appreciate the opportunity. You know, and 
Keegan Murray is my guy. He's my Canadian brother, as I call him. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, been to a couple events in Toronto, and he's he's been a brother yeah. from another country. You know what I'm saying? He's always been real, honest. We we talk every once in a while, which is really cool. And I love his collection, and he loves mine. <laughs> so that's 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 what this is all about. You know, he has stuff I don't have. I have stuff he doesn't have, so I can look at his page and see stuff that 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 I don't have and that's what the culture is about to me and you guys uh going through him and and us circling and and being able to reach out like this this is this is really cool thank you yeah yes thank you thank you thank you and first of all I must say a massive thank you for accepting our invitation mm -hmm. to come on the live and yeah we're looking forward to to speaking with you so um the question we normally ask so, sorry, let me introduce myself. So I'm Ralph, and then this is my brother Smalls. Smalls, yes. yeah, co-host. Co nice, nice, nice to put a face to a name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. So, Chama Bostic, please, could you introduce yourself to the people who are watching this in case they don't know who you are? Yeah. My name is Mark, but my social media name is Jumpman Bostic. I've been at this since the, what I call the beginning of flight, 1985. That's that's when it started for me. I'm the same age as MJ, except for I'm two days older than him. Yeah. Born the same month, same year. I'm just the fifteenth, and he's the seventeenth. So, I've been at this thirty nine years, you know, with with Jordans, but probably forty five, fifty with sneakers. From talking to some of my high school friends, junior high friends, I've always loved sneakers. I've always had different pairs of sneakers before yeah. even before jordan so uh that's what i'm known on on most of my platforms is jump man yeah nice one nice one jump man Bosque, i'm gonna go straight to one of the questions that i've always been wondering why do you wear the jordan one high 85 um chicago the on the first of every year why the first me you know me um <laughs> I, I wear that shoe because that's the very first shoe I bought with my own money. $65 was what it cost back in 1985. That's what started everything for me yeah. was that, that first shoe. When I was in college at that time, uh, we were in Adidas school, so I had to wear Adidas. So I mm -hmm. couldn't wait for the season to end. I was sneaking, wear them. My coach would catch me and have a fit. Like, you got to wear Adidas products until the season is over. So I couldn't wait for the season to be over. And that was the last time I rocked Adidas was 1985. So since wow. then, no Adidas on your feet. Well, I do have a pair now, the top 10s. They, they came back out, and that's what we wore in college. Yeah, right. but I haven't worn them yet. They're in my collection, but I haven't worn them yet. I'm I'm not really big on Adidas. Some of my friends tried to get me to to wear Yeezys and all of that, but nah, nah. never. <laughs> I ain't even I ain't even wear I Yeezys when you. he was with Nike. I, I if I don't like the person, I'm not gonna wear their shoes. Mm. So mm. Mm. That's the bottom line. I, I don't really care for him, so I yeah. I didn't really like his shoes, and. So that's why I've never had a pair. Mm. 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 But if people do, that's that's them. I, I don't I don't have anything against people who rock what they like. That's just not for me. Yeah. Yeah. And okay, what's the best way? Um, another question from someone that knows that you're coming on here today. He he, yeah. he wants to know what's the best way to maintain sneakers so they last long. Now I I. I made a video on this years ago and someone just mentioned it on TikTok two days ago. So I would put my shoes in a box, take the tissue paper out and I would get what's called a face towel. You know how you have the, yep. the wash up towel, the smaller mm -hmm. towel, mm -hmm. face towels a little bigger than the towel you dry off with is bigger than that. Yep. So you get the face towel, you put it flat in the box. Yeah. And you wrap your shoes in it, just like you would do the tissue paper. Yeah. But you wrap it in the shoes. That worked for me. I still have shoes from the 80s and the 90s that I can still wear. And I can't wear shoes from 2010, 2012. Yeah. But that's yeah. 
because of the materials. So it's, it's, it's hard to say if that method will, will really work now because they've changed up the materials of the shoes and shoes just don't last like they used to do back in the day, yeah. point blank. They just yeah. don't last, yeah. no matter if you wear them or not. Mm -hmm. They just don't, yeah. don't last like that. Yeah, yeah, fair, fair enough. And um, you, you've won literally almost every Jordan that has come out. So if you were every Jordan silhouette that's come out. So if you were to pick your top three um, silhouettes of all time, what would they be? Eight, 14, and one. The eights are my all-time favorites. Everybody who knows me knows that. Yeah. Anybody who really mess with me, yeah. they know the eights are my yeah. favorite. Yeah. The fourteens are my second favorite because that was the last shot, you know, and and nobody anticipated him coming back mm -hmm. out of retirement again. Um, so I I bought two pair of those. I don't really double up on shoes, so I doubled up on those. I have a pair that I'll never wear. And then the ones, because that was the first shoe that I bought with my own money. Yeah. And it's yeah. specifically the Chicago's. Mm -hmm. right. And which silhouette would you call the most comfortable? Out of those three? Or out of, or out of, out of the, all, out of all the Jordans. Jordans? Yeah. Wow, that's I've never been asked that question. What is the most comfortable Jordan? The eight is my favorite, but I'm not going to say that's that's the most comfortable because a lot of people didn't like those because of, it didn't really have a lot of breathability yep. in it. So I would say the most comfortable is the six. Mm -hmm. Wow. The right. six. You know, honestly, I thought you were going to say the three. The threes. Now, see, the problem with me with the threes is that that pinky toe. Mm -hmm. you, right. you know, yeah. the threes yeah. and the fours that that narrow cut although i yeah. do have a slim foot but it's just if you wear multiple socks with that or or i would i would always take out the insole i take out the insole anyway and put in an aftermarket insole because i like to preserve my insole so that's another thing that i do but the the threes and the fours have always fit kind of tight on me and i've always had to size up on those mm. Mm. so that's why I, but I mean, it, there are a lot of people's favorites. Yeah, yeah. You know, the threes and the True. fours. But True. that pinky toe, boy, if you start having problems with that, if you've had that problem, you know what I'm yeah. talking about. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, Mark, um, out of the Jordan lines, uh, what's your least favorite silhouette out of them? <sighs> My least favorite? Probably the 18. One. Because it's so boxy, oh. it's so bulky and heavy to me. I like it, yeah, but it's 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 heavy to me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Flashing twenty three says it's a good friend of mine from from out on the west coast. He says the nineteens. I love the nineteens. The nineteens are, <coughs> are aerodynamic, right? And then yes. they have this little this little extension on the yeah. heel that would prevent you from twisting your ankle. Mm -hmm. If you noticed it, it's on the heel okay. and it's like, like it sticks out a little bit. It, it like, it helped you er, to prevent from twisting your ankle while, while playing. So I love the 19. Mm. I love them. With, with you, you've, you've obviously have had so many um, um, pairs over the years. So what sort of, um, when you look, when you're going to buy a new pair of shoes now, what do you look out for most? Because some of the pairs you probably already owned when they first came out and all that. So what do you look out for when you're buying a new pair of shoes? Now, now? When, uh, like the um, the, the Burgundy 5s and the Olive 5s, yeah. they came back out this yeah. year, right? Yes. So I didn't I didn't get them because I didn't like the way they look. The, the, color, the color was off. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So um, I was looking forward to them. But they didn't, they didn't hit me like that. Mm. So I didn't get them. So I don't buy everything that comes out. Yeah. If I don't like it, I don't buy yeah. it. You know, with, by the count, 1,447 people think I have every single Jordan that released. That's not even close. That wouldn't even fit in my basement. Mm. 
Yeah. If I had every single pair that released, but um, if it if if it's something I don't like, I don't I don't I don't buy it. Mm. You know, and 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 a lot of it has to do with with the the colors because they like to what what Jordan Brand likes to do is show show respects to the previous retro or if a shoe hasn't been retroed yet they'll they'll tinker with the color and it'll be off a little bit just so you know the difference that it's a different yeah. Yeah. shoe than than the one that released before and i just wish that they would get the colors correct and get it the the cut of the shoe correct like when they keep saying remastered like these yeah. these threes that are coming out the black cement they're not like the the, the 88s and they keep saying that but the 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 elephant print is lighter it still goes too high up on the shoe mm. and it's not thin enough on the toe box of the shoe mm. so and it just came out what in 16 i believe um yeah 16 or 18 i think so yeah. yeah yeah so they're coming back out with that and it seemed like that's the same exact cut from then it's not really remastered in my opinion you know I'm, I'm curious to see what other people think but for me looking at it yeah it looks similar to the 18. Mm -hmm. right. yes 18. Right. Right. Says 18. On, on a on a on a similar topic so um you know the jordan threes that are releasing mm -hmm. you've seen images you've seen on foot probably what's your take on that then do you do you reckon what jordan is selling to us as them being one to one you know re retro from the ogs w what's your take on that it's not like the ogs but right. it's 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 said they're supposed to be but those are such iconic models yeah the threes the fours and then they're coming back with the black metallic fives with the white yeah. laces yeah which a lot of people don't know i'm gonna get back to what you said a lot of people don't know what the black metallic fives did he ever wear those with white laces in a game? Do you know? No, I don't know. He, no, he did. Okay, he it did. Hmm. One playoff game in 1990 against the Milwaukee Bucks. Look it up. He had on the black metallics with white laces, and he said, "You got to be a baller to wear white laces in your shoes." But that was the only time he ever did it. And a guy, a friend of mine. When they came out with the Ben Fives, and they had the white laces in there, and that was why he was a part of that sneaker design, and put the white laces in those. And now they're coming out with the with next year's uh, black metallics. But if you look it up, say you know, just look up uh, MJ or, or or Jordan wearing white laces in his black metallic vibes, and that that game a bad game will pop up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. So, and and this was before the internet. So a lot of stuff that that I know, I have books behind me. I used to read, read just read and read and read and and learn about the different models of shoes. Yeah. And and a lot of stuff that I came up with, like on on the sixes, you have a two and a three and an M and a J. Yeah. You know those yeah. things. People say, oh, I never knew that, but that wasn't on the internet. That was before the internet. Yeah. You know, and I. Brought Brought it to the internet. Maybe other people brought it to the internet. I'm not gonna say I was the first to do it, but I don't know. I don't. I don't know if I was the first to do it, but I pointed it out. But um, I, I learned it from you, though. I, I have to say, I learned it from you. But those are things with like with, with the fives. But but with them releasing those black metallic fives, they're supposed to be on that on that cut from the 1990s. Yeah. Just like with the, when they're coming back out with the grapes, the grapes with the Nike Air on the back. They're supposed to be like the 1990s. Let's hope that they do that instead of just, you know, telling us they're going to do that, knowing that people are going to buy them anyway. anyway yeah, we're going to buy them anyway. But we would love to have that that 90s nostalgic look again. Yeah, and it doesn't seem like it should be that hard if they have these shoes in the archive. Yeah, it seems like you yeah. you could be able to copy a mold. You might not be able mm -hmm. to copy it copy it perfectly but you could copy it enough to you know give it that 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 90s vibe Looking instead fair. of yeah. the all the 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 retros after that look 
Yeah, is what mm -hmm. most of these what most of these shoes look like. Now the 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 remastered fours with the leather. That was a true remaster, and and to mm -hmm. me, the fours, the 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 black cement fours that people call them the B R E D. I don't use that word. I use black and red. I call me old, <laughs> but I believe the four should have been leather. Mm -hmm. I should have. I, I truly believe they should have. They and 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 Tinker had those, but they decided to come out with the new yeah. bug, dirt bug, whatever they yeah. want to call it, instead of the leather. But they should have been the leather, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. right. Mark just, and 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 you know, someone may assume that all what you just all that you just said should be easily done by the Jordan brand to be able to like easily mold these things, like <laughs> how they were. What do you think? It's keeping them from, from doing it. Is it they just want people complaining? That's what it seems like. I don't think they want people <clears throat> complaining. They they just don't have the experience. Their design team are are young people that don't know nothing about sneakers. That's the bottom line. Right. They don't know nothing. And they're coming out with stuff that is 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 for the new millennials. Yeah. Not for older sneaker connoisseurs, yeah. older sneakerheads, people that's been around for a minute that know yeah. mm -hmm. what to expect, yeah. what we want. Yeah. They're giving us models yeah. of what we want, but they're missing out on making them like they say they're supposed to be, remastered, mm -hmm. looking yeah. like the 90s. looking Because mm -hmm. people have shoes from the 90s. I do. So I want to to see that cut that you saying yeah. we gonna get yeah <laughs> yeah and we're not getting yeah. it you know sure. no sure. but but i'm 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 still gonna buy it i, <laughs> I like that i, am. Yeah, I because, like that because you because you know you know why i like to do videos on showing the difference between, between. i would yeah. love to do a video and say these are are spot on this is what they said they were going to be like the remastered fours yeah. That were they were what they said they were gonna be. Yeah. The white cement threes were what they said they were gonna be. They got if you look at the the recent white cement threes. What's up, Retro Queen? She from Detroit too. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm just I'm just looking all, all around. I'm sorry. No, nah, it's cool. But, we, we we had her on the show some time ago, so she's yeah. yeah she's 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 a friend of ours. Yeah. Yeah. She she great great she's great good, person. She's good people, and I had yeah. to go all the way to Dallas to meet her, and she's from Detroit. Oh, nice. <laughs> but wow. like the white cement threes, they made that they made that thin cut. Yeah. On on, on the toe box of of the shoe with with the elephant print and on the heel. Yeah. Why can't they copy that on the black cement? I I I I just don't get it. They can can do it if they want. Yeah, to. I, I'm I'm a firm believer. If if they want to do it, they can do it. I mean, with the advancements of technology, yeah, that's 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 understandable. They should be able to able they, to do it. Yeah. They've done it. That's yeah. why that's why yeah. I don't understand. They did it on 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 the the, the white cement. Yeah, in the white cement. Yeah. And 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 the recent. Black cement, no. This upcoming one, the early pictures that I see, I really don't. I don't mess with the early stuff because you don't know if it's for gazy or yeah, if it's real. Know. A lot mm -hmm. of people do, but I don't. I'll just wait. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the early pictures I've seen is the high cut. Mm -hmm. So if, if, if that's wrong, then 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 I, I'll recant everything I'm saying. But if that's what we're gonna get, then. It's not like they said it was going to be. Mm. Mark, um, what's, in all your years of collecting sneakers, what's been the highlight, like the peak moment for you? The peak moment for me? When Marcus Jordan spit mm. me these two pair of shoes behind me. Uh, I'm going to turn, let me see if I can turn the camera around for you. Because it's not about me. We're we talking about shoes. Yes. Yes. These right here. Ooh. Now, if you know what these are, yep, those are friends, <laughs> friends and family, family. pair. Yep, very, very, very limited. Yes, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars. But I wore mine. <laughs> and then this is what we got. 
yeah. you know, this is what released to the public. Mm. And I was, mm -hmm. they sent me, they sent me both pair out the blue. And he yeah. just wanted to tell me, thank you for all of your um, dedication, support of my dad and, and, and that meant the world to me. Yeah. That was before Jordan Brand had ever sent me anything. Now I've received a few things. I met a few people. Shout out to Rose Spit, one of one of uh he had a collab here in Detroit with the tools, mm -hmm. the 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 plant crisis tools. And I, I, I met some people and, and I connected with some people. But before that, that was a highlight. Yeah. Yeah. That was all you know, and I don't, I didn't buy, I didn't start this for them to send me free stuff by any means. Yeah. But I've always said, just if, if I could pick what I wanted, I'll buy it. Yeah. Because there's a, a lot of resellers here in Michigan and a lot of the shoes sell out. You know what yeah. I mean? Mm -hmm. And I'm a, I'm a 14 or a 13. Yeah. And you only send either one or two of those to a store. Yeah. And then they're gone. So it's not, not a lot that, yeah. that gets shipped out in that in that particular side. If I could just have the opportunity to just buy the shoe, like I missed out on both of the 17s, the Lightnings and the UNCs. Because the store they sent them to up here, the one store that got them, they only got one size 14. So. That's just such a shame. <laughs> So I, I, I miss yeah. out, I mean, I, some things you miss out on and then you got to go back and I, and I bought some things on the resale market, but I'm not going to pay somebody's car note or house note to have a shoe. <laughs> I rather, at this point, I'd rather just miss out on it. And I don't, yeah. I, I don't even pay that much for my PEs, you know? Yeah. I was collecting PEs before they was popular and now people are paid 10, 15, Eight, nine, ten thousand for shoes. Nah, nah, not I me. Mean, I've never, never paid wow. that much wow. for a PE. Never. Out, out of curiosity, have you ever like sat down to like? Uh, you don't need to mention them all, but have you ever sat down to evaluate your collection? Uh, what is worth? I, I have, but mm. that that has that's you know, and other people have tried to calculate it by adding up. 1447 pair times whatever but you can't do that no because you 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 if you're doing it by one uh, 150 dollars 160 190 i got some of the dmp packs you know mm. i have yeah. some some pe's that that were a little more than than retail but when i got them they weren't they weren't crazy prices like they are now yeah. so you can't really Put a figure to some ac accurate, yeah. Accurate, and and I'm and that doesn't really matter to me how much I I spent on it. People people buy cars, people rebuild cars, people smoke cigarettes, people do this, people do that. I just happen to collect sneakers, and they say it's a waste of money. It's a, it's a waste waste of money to to them, not to me. I I have a a, a purpose for doing this and. It seems like it's gonna happen. I'm just waiting for them to to really say it's gonna happen. That that that's going to be a museum with because I have clothing that also goes with shoes. Yeah. Mm. You know, and that was big back in the early 2000s to like 2007, 2008, and that kind of died off. But in the Wheaties boxes, the Gatorade bottles, the, and the bags. The board, the bags, the toys, yeah, all of that. You know, yeah. it's, it's just, I, it was just, I saw stuff and I just started buying it and I kept it. And then now this is, this is what it is. And I've been blessed to have people reach out to me, like the container store who blessed me with, you know, 1100 drop front boxes. Cause wow. I was, I, I the, the, yeah. the story with that was, this was the 2010, 2012 i i was refusing to get rid of my boxes you know and they came to me saying you know we'll we'll you know convert your whole collection if you if you want to do it just let us know 
and they 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 flew me down to Dallas and and you know after I had started buying them and I put like my PE I started putting my PEs in it because they didn't come with boxes. Yeah. Okay. So I, and then I that's like, hey, this looks pretty cool. And now, you know, it's a lot easier to see what you want to wear. Yeah. And then my oldest son came up with a template to uh have the Oh, you went off. Yeah, I think he mistakenly closed the app. Yeah. Bro. Oh, that was that was mad. <laughs> it, it's it, it's for me. It's like a movie. I'm, I'm, lessons, bro. I'm, bro. <laughs> See, it, jump like the collection isn't the. That's the best thing about about the collection. It's not just about. It's not just shoes. Everything it, is in there. Yeah, the Literally everything. Well, yeah. Every memorabilia you can think about. Well. Yep. Yeah. Sorry about that. No, so sorry. my my oldest son came up with a template where I could remake the the logos from the boxes. Oh, so, oh. So that's that's what sold me on switching over uh, to the drop fronts. Yeah, and then they you know they sent them to me, and I don't know if you can see that. I ended up doing like a two three. Yeah. With the black, oh, okay, I can see the black, yeah, the black outline, yeah. Black yeah. outline is a is yeah. a two three, yeah. Mixed in, mixed in with the drop fronts, and then they start with the ones, and and go all the way around by the numbers. That is insane, <laughs> Mark. You still still have the numbers in front of the the crates because I remember you had to you used to have like the numbers yeah. in the boxes as well. Yeah, I some of them I I started taking that off because it started. You know, I, once I started putting these labels on, I, I, I stopped with the numbers. Yeah. But yeah, I used to. Mm. Yeah. So it just goes all the way around the basement. Here's some of the stuff from Space Jam, the first cologne. Wait, Michael Jordan had a cologne? Yeah. 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 That was the case. This was the Christmas um, box that they gave out. Here's some. Others, he had a few of them. They they came with stickers and all kinds of stuff. Uh, hopefully, you can see down here. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. <clears throat> These never uh, never opened some of them. That one was wow. used, so I had to try it out. You know, but yeah, he had he had cologne. He had a he had a bunch of different flash different flash. Just saying that you had the first one back in 1998. 90, yes. Yes. Mm. Yes. Wow. Then there's some of the the pins. I got most of Toronto when the Nike store was open there. They used to just give them away in the in the Nike store. Now appeared in this magazine, Sneaker Freaker, back when I had 727 pair. Um this used to be the way to know when releases came before the internet. Um, Mark, could you please bring the camera down a bit? Yeah. Oh, okay, this magazine. Yeah. Yeah, that's, oh. the, that, that's the foot action one, right? Mm, yeah. This oh, used to get mailed. To, and this is the the infrared. Yeah. Back infrared in the Yeah. So this was this this was our way of knowing when it's literally when, literally a calendar. Yeah. <laughs> and and it would be on there on the calendar the day that the shoe was releasing. This was this was pre internet days, you know, mm -hmm. so that was our way of, of tracking when shoes were gonna release and stuff. So it, those were the fun days. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Ink mm. Ink is asking to show the About telephone. The telephone. Oh, the... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know so, so the telephone <laughs> the telephone is pretty, pretty classic. This this I used to use this was before cell phones. <laughs> so you, you push that button.
and it opens. Oh, shit. No way. <laughs> and this thing still works to this day. Nah. This is so retro. <laughs> oh, shit. Wow. So they came out in numbers, and this is the number. Wow. They got it limited edition, and that, you know, it's still, it's crazy. It still works to this day. And this was my home phone before mm -hmm. cell phones. Ink knows a lot about me, man. Ink is that's 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 my brother. That's my brother. Uh, Mark, you know your old YouTube videos. You used to put um, some nice um, quotes at the end of the of the um, video. My cousin asked me to ask you this: Why 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 do you um, why did you do that? What what was the reason behind it? The jacket? No, you used to put some quotes uh, at the oh, end of your the YouTube quotes. videos. The yeah. quotes, the, the word of the day. Yes. I, been through a lot in my life, brother. Ups, downs, changes, turnarounds, and I, I'll share. I'll share with you. But the, the the reason for the quotes is life. You know, you go through things in life, and people look at may look at me and think that I have a perfect life, right? Mm. I don't have no ups, no downs, no changes, no turnaround. That couldn't be. Any further from the truth i'm just like everybody else i struggle with things i have problems um and life life is a motherfucker man excuse my french but life life can can break you down if you allow it to so i i try to get things off my chest by saying them so i can i can feel better so i can can get past whatever I'm going through. And then I'll get comments back on my videos saying, man, that hit me. That, I think you were speaking to me. You know, when I was really speaking about me. Yeah. But that goes to show that I'm not the only one going through things. And that's why I continue to do what I call my word of the day. It's very, very inspirational. Uh, but I um, went through a situation where I almost quit in 2001. I was about to ask the about that. So I was on the police force. I had a partner. And, you know, when you have a partner on the, on the police force or some in, in the military, um, uh, somebody you work with every day for X amount of years, you tend to share your life with them. Because yeah. you, you in a scout car with them eight hours a day five six maybe seven days a week right yeah. long story short this person was caught by me with my wife so i had two choices right what were those two choices Leave. kill them both or walk away yeah and if i had killed them both i would be in jail yeah i feel yeah I walked away, never went back. Got my got whatever I could get and left. Filed for divorce before me. Got a hundred pair of my shoes. Got all my autograph memorabilia, autograph basketball, autograph jersey, autograph rookie card, autograph college card, all, 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 all of my all of my some stuff I could not replace yeah but you know what i'm in a better place now that that taught me a lot that taught me a lot you know you never know people's vindiction yeah you never know what a person is is capable i never thought i never thought that that would happen yeah. and let alone you come after something you know i've been yeah. doing trying to to break me down to the very last compound, yeah. you know, yeah. and almost, it almost, it almost happened. I almost gave up, but then, and I said, "Now nah, I'm not gonna let this 
I'm going to come back stronger. And this is what it is. But you just got to be careful with everything in life. You know, I've learned that you just, you know, you, 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 you got to watch who, who you surround yourself with. You got to watch who you allow to be in your, in your circle because you never know what a person's ultimate goal is or what they ultimately are, are trying to do. And if it's nothing, then you it won't be nothing. Yeah. Everything will be cool. Yeah. But then once you start seeing signs, and there's been there's been signs with with people, and it, and I and I'm I might be back cool with them, but I'll never be that cool again. Yeah. Because once you do me like that one time, oh. my antennas are up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yep. I, I believe everybody deserves a second chance, yeah. but you're not getting a third. You not you you'll never you'll mm -hmm. never get a third chance from me, never. And and and, and that's just me. You know, our first time, shame on me. You know, you know, how, you know how that saying goes. goes. Yeah, but the second time, nah. Yeah. Third time, definitely mm -hmm. not. Definitely not. Mm. What? So, what? But that was, you know, I'm, 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 I'm past all of that. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm in a good space, but that hurt, man. Amen. That hurt. That. And, a, and a lot of my words, to be honest, reflect back to that because it yeah. still hurts. Yeah. Because, you know, I love that person. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And, and didn't see it coming. Then there's other people that said they knew about it. But you, why wouldn't you tell me? Tell you, yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, I didn't know how to tell you. Look, if I if I know something, I'm telling my homeboy, look, you might, in some type of way, you might want, you know, check your surround, something, yeah. something. At least a, a hint or something like yeah. that, yeah. Something, something to go on, yeah. you know. But, Yes, they felt guilty after they said, "Well, I didn't want to say nothing." But then, once you start coming after your collection, then I I felt you know that that was some that was some wrong stuff. You know, yeah. it was wrong from the beginning. You know, sure. if I'd have done it, you'd have told on me, yeah. right? <laughs> you know, that's that's how I felt. If it was if it was reversed, you would have said something. But you won't. You didn't want to say nothing because. It was the other side, and I, and I and I read somewhere that the other side tried to make it seem like it was you yeah. that 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 because they yeah. they filed for divorce before yeah. me yeah yeah and reversed the whole story yeah and 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 the courts who the courts most likely gonna believe yeah so yeah that, that that's what it came down to well we we. we we're really, really happy that you're in, you're in a much better place, place, and we're happy that you are here because you are you are an inspiration to a lot of people. I'm, I, I would ad admit this: you are an inspiration to a lot of people, and we would always we would always celebrate you. You've influenced lives that you didn't. I probably, I'm sure you probably even know that a kid in Ghana has been influenced by by your collection. And that that <laughs> and that means a lot. Yeah. That and I'm, I was looking at you know the the different time zones and, and 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 all of that and i'm and i'm blessed and i'm thankful and I, i'm glad ink and money reached out to me you know and and I, I i'm just a normal person you know everybody say well you, you know you you a legend you this you that i just been at this since 1985 but i'm still a foot soldier i'm not an athlete i'm not rich i I spend money that I can on shoes. I have a family that all of that comes first. You know, what I have left over goes towards that. And of course, a lot of this was before I was yeah. had kids and 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 a, and a family and all of that. So um, as time went on, things started to slow down a little bit with, yeah. with the purchasing of shoes. And it's slowing down more because I have an 18, 17 year old One's in college, other one about to graduate high school. So, you know, he has a car, he has a job, he's in college. So 
uh, it's a lot of different factors now. Yeah. It's not about, about me, it's about <clears throat> them, you know, mm -hmm. and making sure they're good, you know. Jumpman, so um, I would like to know what's the secret to having, to being this, um, or to this longevity in stinker collecting? Now, I, I, and this is another thing that I say, cop and rock what you like. Don't, don't don't try to compete with somebody else's collection. I know there's people out there with with a better collection than mine from a, a rare standpoint. Mm -hmm. But I don't know a lot of people that have a lot of the different varieties of sneakers from yeah. you know boots, Roy Jones Jr. boxing shoes trunners um, um fusions team jordans just just everything you know i i, I was a fan of all the different models mm -hmm. of sneakers yeah and boots and dress shoes and golf shoes and casual shoes he has dress shoes a lot of people don't know about you know and i I have those, you know, the jackets, the track suits, and things of that nature. So the longevity is not competing with anybody else, just doing what you can do for yourself and being satisfied with what you like to, to buy and wear. In, in one of your, I, I learned this from you, uh, um, for me i don't i don't reach back i look at your collection and it makes me not want to reach back to get shoes that i don't have any any connection with no matter how hyped it is or um, the story behind it or whatever it is i buy what i uh, what i like and what i go. can relate to so that's go. one thing that i that i also learned from you and um this leads on to another question which is if you were to you've lost a lot of shoes to movers taking stuff some stuff oh, that's another yes <laughs> and um the the divorce and other things if is there one particular shoe that you are still missing today that you wish you could you could get back yes my black and red jordan ones from 85 but a friend of mine from dallas these are a size 12. Sam Coat. His name is Sam Coat. I, I told my story and I went to Dallas for a sneaker event. And this this is how this is how people this is how people view me. And that, and that's why I, I feel so blessed and thankful that he knew that this was a pair that I had to give up. Yeah. He gave me his pair out of his collection. It's a size 12. I can't wear it. But just to have it back, knowing how, how it was lost, means the world to me. Respect for that. Man. Respect, y'all. Yeah. God bless This, God bless this shoe will forever, forever be in my collection. And shout out to Sam Coke. If, if you know, if, 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 you, if you Google Sam Coke, before I met him, I thought he was a brother. By the way he sounds, the way he talks, right? Yeah. He's a white guy. He's a white guy. And he's so cool, man. I talk to him to this day. To this day. And I still thank him to this day for gifting me that shoe. Because that meant a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and, and, um, if you could collaborate with Jordan Brand on any Ooh. pair of shoes, Ooh. which silhouette would you go for? Eight. 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 It would I thought you were going to go for the one, be, one because that was what started it all for you. Eight. It would be, it would probably be my college colors, which are university blue and baby blue and white, or my my college colors which is purple and white i mean my high school colors which is purple and white i i, I that would probably be a last minute decision 
one. But yeah. it would probably be my my college colors, to be honest. But it would definitely be an eight, no question. Mm. Mm. <laughs> no question. <clears throat> Staying true to your favorites. So yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> it's University of San Diego. That 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 those colors there would be so yeah. hard on what I call call the great eights. I call them the great eights because to me that was his greatest playoffs of his six championships. Yeah. His performance throughout mm -hmm. the entire playoffs, I felt were the greatest in the eights. That's why I call them the great eights. Love that. We've got two questions from the um, audience. Um, guys, let me remind you, please, if you have any question, yeah. kindly use the question feature or just write it there. But if you use the question feature, it's better for us because we can organize it and we don't lose it with all the chat. Mm -hmm. So there was one I saw earlier, which was asking, um, someone was asking, what's your favorite um, colorway um, in a Jordan? And then also we've got Mr. Simpson here. He says, what does the GOAT think of the whole reimagined series? So, yeah. Yeah, we... We spoke on the reimagined yeah. series. I, I just think a lot of them, the, to recap that, a lot of the reimagined is not fully reimagined. Yeah. On some of the, the models, like the, the white cement threes, it was done properly. The, the reimagined fours with the leather, that was done properly. We're hoping that the fives, the black metallic and the greats, will be done that way so that's that and my my favorite color is the chicago color the white and the red that's that or black and the red that's that's it those those are my all-time favorite colors if you could pick one gun to your head they're black and red or white and red which one would it be oh white and red no question mm. white and red fair fair and um, Sneaker Room um, Hampshire says, what eight, uh, what Jordan 8 would you like to return? I would like this 8 to return, but it's, it's, it was a women's release. The white aqua. Let me get it. Aqua. Search, search the white, it was a women's, women's release. Now we got, we got the, the black, aqua the regular aqua but there's a, a white yeah you have to win there um, yes sir okay yeah. yeah right i would i would I would like to see that come in a men's and also if you could wear a sneaker from another brand now which brand would you uh go with now i know i said i i i don't like adidas but i would wear the anthony edwards the hmm. AE one. Why, why, why is that though? Is it the Jordan comparison with um, Anthony Edwards' charisma, his performances, and stuff like that? His performance, his style of play, his his tenacity, his will, and and just his personality. Yeah, he he has a killer personality. He he wants to win. Yeah, that he would. He would he would be my guy. I would I would I would rock his shoe. No question. Yo, if somebody from Adidas is here, let Anthony Edwards know this. <laughs> yeah. Send me a pair. <laughs> Send me a pair too. Size 14. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. Right. Mark, um What's my this favorite one? Jordan moment. Dang, how much time we got? But I'm I'm I'll speak on this one. This is my all time. Remember yeah, he's breaking off. You're, break, you're breaking off. Mark, your line You hear me? It's breaking up. Yeah, your line. You hear me? Your line is breaking yeah, off. Yeah, it's better yeah. now. It's better? Yeah, yeah better. Okay. Now. Yeah. All right. Now, now you, you remember the time when he dunked on Ewing? Patrick Ewing. Jordan? Yeah. He, remember, he went baseline. He went back. He shook John Starks into the stands. Then he turned back around and went baseline and went and dumped on Ewing. Just Google Jordan baseline get it dunk on Ewing. That, that is my all-time favorite, period. 
and just watch how he just keeps going up and up and up and and dunks on Ewing. You know, I honestly thought you were gonna say the the, the last shot. You know, nah, it's got to be a dunk, man. I was a dunker okay. in college. Okay, I okay. Was, it was it's all about the dunks to me. Yeah. It wasn't it wasn't a shot. It wasn't the last shot. It wasn't the, the shot against Elo. It was that dunk on Ewing. <laughs> that, I see that to, in just in my mind. That that was incredible. Mm. Is 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 there any player like we've we've had some greats over the multiple great players over the years? But is there any player that you could say is as close to that comes very close to MJ in terms of the publicity, the the aura, everything that he brought to the game and sneakers and everything? Nothing as far as popularity. But rest in peace to Kobe. Kobe, to me, was the closest. Mm. He mimics everything that, that MJ did. And there's videos of them, yeah. like, doing the same move. That, and that, yeah. that's pretty cool. Who, whoever edited that video, that's, that's pretty cool because it's, it's spot on. Spot on. So, I, I, Kobe was the closest. Mm. He, he was the closest. Yeah. Fair. Fair. And also, this is a question that goes around a lot. Like, who is a sneakerhead, in your own words? A, a, a true sneakerhead to me is someone who buys what they like, okay, wears what they like, or stocks what, what they like. You don't have to wear them to be a sneakerhead. I'm not saying that. I, I like people who wear their shoes. I like to see the shoes hit the hit the ground. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And, and you're not throwing up in people's face, I got this and you don't. That's not a sneakerhead to me. That's a poser. That's a clout chaser. As you know, I don't know what all these words these younger people use nowadays, but I mean, clout chaser is one of them. Yeah. You know, uh, 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 somebody that's in it to be noticed, or or just buy a certain shoes, just to fit in, yeah. you know. And, and and they don't even really know what the shoe is. <laughs> they just know that <laughs> it's a popular shoe, so they want it. Okay, you so know. so would would you um, still call someone a sneakerhead if they have the love and passion for shoes, but they don't have a, a massive collection or a, a collection of shoes? That doesn't matter. Just because I have this, some people don't even consider me a sneakerhead, and that's fine. It's not about the number. You can have three, four, five, 10, 15, 20 pair. But if you are, you, you are showing the passion, you are showing the love, you are showing the knowledge yeah. of sneakers, yeah. the enthusiasm for sneakers, you're a sneakerhead. I love that. You Mark, on a, I love that. On a similar topic, um, I'm sure you've you've overheard like everyone saying how Jordan has gone. Jordan is trash. Jordan has gone down. Jordan is dead. Um, just because a lot of releases, recent releases, have been like readily available to everyone. Mm -hmm. um, what's your take on that? I don't like the fact that the thing that the sneakers are are limited in quantity. I think they should be opened up in quantity and and allowing the masses of people, because there's masses of people that want them. Mm. You know, yeah. I've never understood why they want people to, to fight, kill, go to resellers okay. over shoes. You can make enough for people to, to buy and not have any problem or, or lesser problems than you have by making a shoe limit yeah. in quantity. Yeah. That's going to make people do stupid things when they already know before the shoe is released it's going to be limited in quantity. I remember back in the day when I was on the force, it was a Foot Locker on um, Grand River and Greenfield. The cool gray 11s release. People would walk out the store and 
people be out there robbing them as soon as they walked out the store. Man. As soon as they walked out the store, people be taking their bags. And those weren't even really limited shoes, but that's, that's saying that, you know, that's how bad people wanted the yeah. shoes back then. And, and, and people, I, I've seen people camping out for the black Oreo force. I'm like, that's not, that wasn't even really a hot shoe to me, but people camped out for it. So people are still camping out for shoes and, and it shouldn't have to be that way. It should be enough made. They're going to make the money. Yes. So make the shoes. Yes. Just make, make more, make more. But with, with, with making more quantity, they need to have a better quality control because they're letting a lot of these shoes slip through yep. that should yep. never slip yep. through. You know, they got to do a better job with their quality materials, taking their time with it because they have already started making the shoes 10, 11, 12 months before they release. They've already started the production yeah. on. So make more and take your time and make them with better quality. That's that's what I would say. Cool. And um, okay, another one. So we, we you did see this on this, on social media where someone says, "Oh, if you don't have, let's say, if you're wearing, if you're rocking Team Jordans or you're wearing um, a GR or wearing a shoe that is massively produced, then that in it that is not it." What do you think about that? Those those are people who are caught up in the hype. You know what I'm saying? I have team shoes. Back in the day, back in the 90s, late 90s, 98, 99, 2000, Team J sold just as well as the number J. Eddie Jones, Ray Allen, all them guys wore the team J. Randy Moss, and they sold just as well as a number days, but when the hype came in, I say 2006, 2007, when the hype train rolled in and you had to wear a certain style of shoe, a number Jordan, any team Jordans, you was you was a poor man trying to wear Jordans, you need to go sit down somewhere. <laughs> that's that's bull, man. That's bull. I I wear team J, I wear fusions to this day. And if people want to clown, they can clown. But I, I'm going to do me because I, I like the shoes, so I, I bought them. Yes. And each shoe has a meaning to me. Yes. And a reason why I bought it. And the team, team shoes, those were some good, good balling shoes out on, the, out on the blacktop and on the hardwood. You could wear those shoes on either surface. Course, yeah. On mm. either surface, you could rock those shoes. Yeah. And they was cool to just stroll around in. You know, and they were to me just as popular as the number of shoes. Mm. So, I, I've never liked people that that talk down on on Team J's and people who wore Team J's. That that's trash. Love that. And you, when you started collecting shoes, like sneaker collecting wasn't really a thing. So you've definitely seen the the OG sneakerhead um, period to what the newer. Um, generation of sneakerheads. What's the main difference between the two two generations, from in your opinion? Height. You got to be on, on a certain status nowadays. You got to wear a certain style of shoe to be accepted in the sneaker community. And that's that's what's wrong. Everybody can't, can't afford the number. They two hundred and ten, two hundred and fifteen dollars now and going up. Team J's used to be under a hundred dollars. Now they want forty, one fifty, one sixty. You know, so some parents are waiting to catch them on sale if they can. Some the number Jordans you can't wait because they're gone if you're trying to wait for them on sale. So you forced to buy the Team J's and the kids wear the Team J's to school and get teased, get bullied. Yeah, because of the sneakers they're wearing. That's that's wrong. Love that. <laughs> that's what that's 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 deep. Uh, and I mean, it leads on to another follow-up question, which Smalls you normally ask this: What's your thoughts on fakes? I hate them. I hate 
And what, well, what about those who come up with an excuse saying, okay, no excuse, those who say, oh, I can't afford the, the shoes, so I rather buy a fake. What's, what's your thoughts on that? To me, I think that that's a person who, who wants to fit in. You can't afford uh, a legit pair, so you go get uh, for gazing. <laughs> a gazing. You can't get the authentic, so you get the fake because you want to fit into a certain class or, 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 or fit in with being someone who has the up to, up to date, up to style sneakers. Yeah. Okay. There's so many that I missed. I'm not going to go buy a fake just so I can say I have it. Yeah. Like I want the Tokyo fives real bad. Right. But they ain't make very many of them. And I don't even think they made a 14. They barely made a 13. 12 might be the biggest. So what if I showed up with a pair of to Tokyo fives? People be like, man, man them, them are fake because they didn't really make them in big size. Yeah. You know, at certain shoes you just had to let go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I just, I've just, like people came on my YouTube page and said you should do real versus fake videos. I've only done a couple of them. I got a fake pair of Bugs Bunny 8s in, and they was obviously fake. But then a friend of mine got a fake pair of shoes in and, and I did a video on that for him just to show what real versus fake was. But I'm not gonna go and purchase a fake pair of shoes to do videos on. I'm I don't even wanna touch a fake pair of shoes. I don't. Yeah. I, I don't have I don't have any want to to have anything to do with fake shoes. And I've and I had these companies reach out to me years ago when fakes were popular. They still popular now, but they was real popular back in the day. The guy offered me five thousand dollars, unlimited quantity of shoes, just to do videos on fakes. I turned it down. Some other people took him up on the deal, and I seen them popping up on certain certain videos. But I was like, nah, that's not gonna be me. I can't do that because my my reputation. For, yeah. for doing legit sneakers and everything legit. I can't I can't go out like that. I can't go out yeah. with no fakes. Okay. And I saw the article with Complex where you, uh, was talking about um age and wearing Jordans. Ooh, I don't yeah. know if you, <laughs> you want to talk about that that again. Yeah. <laughs> I had to get him to business. <laughs> I, I I responded to that saying that there's, there is no age with sneakers. Yeah. You can, I, I'm going to be wearing jade till I'm 10 toes up. And that's exactly what I told him. You know, um, then they, they talk about, why don't you wear those, what's, what's the old man shoes called that everybody wears? Which one? The dad the, shoes or? Dad yeah. shoes, yeah. I can't remember the name of them. Maybe somebody in the, in the comments. What? Comments. Of them. Um, is it a, uh, it starts with an M or something. Is it a more? Uh, no, no, no. It's not a more. It's a oh. This is it a white and white and blue one? Blue, yeah. yeah. White... Mo monarchs, monarchs, yes, monarchs, monarchs. monarchs. <laughs> Come on, man. You whatever, whatever, whatever you feel like wearing. Bottom of the line, you you, you can wear whatever you feel like wearing. But me, it's been Jordan for me for thirty nine years, and that's what I'm gonna wear. And then people say, well, as I get older, my feet hurt in them, or. Maybe you need to size up, or maybe you change the insoles, or maybe your feet bad. Or I don't, I don't know what the deal is, but mine aren't uncomfortable like mm. that. So mm. I can wear them for eight, eight hours straight without having a problem like that. So I don't know. It, it, there is no age limit, and and for that to come up, I was like, well, Jordan is sixty-one. I'm sixty-one. So if I'm too too old is he too old it, it just didn't it just didn't make sense to me thanks um so james james, james yeah. and sneak he said yeah he, he came up with monarchs yeah i see that that's go show i don't i don't i don't pay attention to no monarchs i don't know damn <laughs> <laughs> james and sneakers is asking what are your thoughts on customs oh i have lots of customs i like customs yeah i, I like customs because um people people usually mistake them for replicas mine they, they mistake as pe's right. because 
because of the way they're done. They they look like actual PEs. Now I've seen some customs that look bad, and they they look like you know you you got them you know in in New York in the alley, you know. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't have a problem with customs. You know, I know right. back in the day, people used to really look down on customs, but now that athletes are wearing custom cleats, custom sneakers in, in, in the NBA, you know, it's cool now. But years ago, when I first started doing customs, people kind of looked down on like, this is a custom right here. I saw this on a pin that MJ, of, of MJ right after his uh, championship. So I was like, Jordan Branch should come out with this. And what would this be called if, if they came out with this? You know, and this is the pin. Oh, wow. So I, that's that's why I had a custom made. To go with the pin. So that was the first, first championship, then it would be, it would be nice to, to repeat, right? Yeah. But, he had these on, and maybe this was, you know, a custom in the pen. You know, maybe somebody yeah. had customized those shoes, but I had these made because I like the way that shoe looked. And I hadn't seen, I seen somebody else customize the pair like that recently, but I hadn't seen any one until I had done it. That's tough, that's tough. Um, we, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, switch it up a bit and look at some of talk about some of the shoes in your collection. So I don't um, if it's okay with you, we'll just give you like a category or ask a question related to your shoes, and then if it's uh, if it's near to you, you can show it to us. Yeah. So uh, yeah, the basement of the Jays. That's it. <laughs> two. Um, two. This is two. Two. <laughs> yeah, this is two. Now, now I moved. The um, well, I finally moved to a bigger home. Yeah. So this is the second basement of the days. <laughs> <laughs> and some, some people have been, uh, have made it to both of them, which is pretty cool. The movie I wow. was in, or the documentary I was in, One Man in the and Shoes. shoes yeah. If you look closely, you'll see both basements. Yeah. Oh, it, oh, you, you can tell the difference, the difference. by the ceiling. If you well, look, I think one was higher and then yep. the other one was a bit lower. Yeah. You can you can tell by yeah. if you really paid attention. So he came, Yimmy came to my house twice. He came to came to the US twice to to shoot the documentary or get footage from my collection, which I was really blessed for him to to pick me to to showcase some of my shoes in that documentary. But that was really cool. Love that. I think I watched that BBC um, um, snippet on your on your page when you posted it. Yeah. Mm. Um, so, uh, what's the most sentimental pair in your collection, which you haven't shown us shown us yet? I think I showed it. Yeah. The most sentimental pair is is probably the 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 trophy room. Yeah. The red okay. pair. Okay. That's the most most sentimental, yeah. And what's the your favorite GR of all time? Favorite GR of all time. Besides <laughs> oh let me turn this around for you. Besides my favorite playoff yeah. eight. Yeah. I would say the Ray Allen 13. 13. Yeah. Now, that might have been a limited release and not really a GR, but I didn't get this when this first came mm -hmm. out. I, I got this after Ray left to go to, to um, the Miami Heat. Yeah. The person reached out to me and said, man, I, I don't like Ray no more, so... If you want to buy these, you can buy them. So I bought them. <laughs> so that that might have that might have been a that might have been a limited release though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what's right, the um, uh, um, what's the rarest oh, pair in your collection? Oh, by far it's 1985s. Oof. That's it. 
this is this is this is what $65. started up. $65. And it still has the Nike Air down there yeah. on the floorboard. These are tanks. You there's no separation whatsoever. <laughs> and and this these will forever be like this. I'm not getting them cleaned up. I'm not getting them whatever people do with them. They, that's, that's the look that they're supposed to have after being released in 1985. These I had autographed recently, so they mean a lot to me by Wilson Smith. I got a chance to meet him at Pencil hmm. Academy. So uh, he was he was able to sign those for me. And do you know who who made the twenty ones? Nope. Who designed the twenty ones? No. Nope. Anybody in the chat? See if somebody come up with his name. He came to to while they while we waiting for somebody to tap in. Mm -hmm. He came to my house and borrowed some shoes. Um, for a ceremony we're having for Wilson Smith here in Detroit at the Pencil Academy, they opened a wing for him. They dedicated a wing to him. So um, he came and picked out some shoes that Wilson had designed to take down there to the Pencil Academy. So, am I allowed to Google the the answer? <laughs> yeah, you can. Is, is that? Jordan 21, right? Jordan 21. 23 was asking. Du if it was Dwayne Tinker. Edwards. No, that's not Tinker. Dwayne Edwards. Dwayne Edwards. That's yeah. who signed that wow. He came to my house, believe it or not. He came to my house. I have pictures on my Instagram and all of that. He came to my house, and that was a big moment for me, too. And he looked around and saw some stuff that they don't even have at Nike in it. <laughs> And I, and I was blown away by and and blessed that I yeah. had some shoes that they didn't even have in the archives anymore wow. that Dwayne Edwards had designed. So that was pretty cool um, knowing that. And so it's, it's, it's been a lot of blessings from being in the sneaker culture, you know. And in fact, Joe, you mentioned before I came on, I didn't even know he followed me. I didn't even know he knew me like that. And he he sent me a pair. He sent me a pair. And I'll never wear these. I have two pair. I bought a pair, but he sent me a pair as well. The Terra Squad Air Force Ones. You know, he what said I, he said, I got you. You know, and there's there's been people in the past that said, I got you. And it's been crickets. But he said, <laughs> I, I got you. And he meant it. They came in the mail within a week. And, and I know he's a busy man, yeah. you know. And he took, yeah. he, he took, and, and this is what means so much to me. He took the time to not only send those shoes, but to have me on his live. And shout out to Mayor. Yeah. Mayor's, Mayor's, he, he's, he's a good guy too. Yeah. You know, with, with a deep, deep deep collection and to to know those guys and those guys know know of me and yeah. I, i'm i'm just a regular person i'm i'm a regular citizen i'm not, <laughs> I'm not a painter i ain't made no records <laughs> i ain't saying but, but it's, it's just a blessing you know to be 100 to to know that from sneakers from collecting how many people i've met yeah. Rip, Rip Hamilton, um, um, Fred Jones, um, uh, Quentin Richardson. I met all these people in person. And, and, and another sentimental pair are two from the New York Knicks. Quentin Richardson signed those. Q Rich. And that TS2, Terror Squad, that's Fred Jones. Jones, they both played on the Knicks at that time. So those two mean a lot as well, you know. And then I had someone out the blue send me these. 
the trophy room yeah. once. I still, to this day, yeah. don't know where they came from i think the person asked you to to conduct a live and open the box um yeah um yeah, yeah. i watched back i watched that live i remember watching that live yep back door Bottega. these are the actual shoes that were banned not these oh <laughs> these were the shoes these are the banned shoes okay by the nba Mike was wearing these. Yes, coming, coming. These to that. came and they said, "No, you can't wear those because there's too much black on." They were promoting these, which he only wore in the dunk contest, never in a game, never, ever, ever in a game, just the dunk contest. People wanted these so bad because that's the only place they saw them. Yeah. So for years this story was backwards. Yeah. It was these that's banned. And and Marvin, M. Joe 23 Dan, he's another Jordan historian who, who knows a lot about Jays. He, he was doing petitions to get the airships in production. Then we finally got them. And now we've got a bunch of airships and I'm on them. I am on them, you know. I was gonna, I was gonna ask. I was I'm going to make Smalls the buy the entire collection of airships in the world. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Cause uh, yeah. Uh, for me, the airships are my favorite at the moment. Uh, I, I was going to ask, do, what do you think sir. it's the reason why people are not paying much attention to that silhouette? Because yeah. about it. it's, got, about. it's got everything we love about the Jordan ones. If not, they've got bigger swoosh. They're quite comfortable as well. So I'm not Very sure why people are not paying much again. attention. They, what are they? Say it again. Comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. So why are people like fully sleeping on the um on that silhouette? I, I it, it, they don't know I, about them. They don't. A lot of people did not even know that was the shoe that was banned. And people, yeah. people used to argue me down mm. until these came out. Because I said they're like the one before the one. Yes. Yes. Then there were some other shoes before the one while the one was still in production that MJ was wearing that, that released as well, which was these. If you look at some old MJ games, he was wearing some different colorways of, of the, the Jordan 1s. Then they came with these reverse black and red yeah mm. you know it, it's it's so much that that people missed out on, on pre-internet days that were in books that people just missed yeah. out on a lot of a lot of people nowadays are just based on the internet you know and it's you know before that it was just books yeah you know Oh, that's that's um yo um man, I, can talk, I can talk sneakers all day. <laughs> Loving it, man. Loving it. Mark, we need to, we need we need to have an, another session where you man. just you just come on here and just educate us as much as possible because that's what we're all about. We want we want to learn about the shoes. It's not just about this yeah. is the hype one. This is the latest Travis Scott. This is what you have. No, no, no. And I'm not really these. big. Yeah, I'm not really big on on collab. Yeah be honest like the travis scott's i like the sixes i i had the ones and the one lows but i got rid of them because because i'm i'm not i'm not big on the collab i like i like the sixes i ain't gonna lie i like the sixes but like these newer collabs i'm i'm not really with them especially travis scott to me you know I think I think a lot of the the collabs are are playing out, you know. I think yeah. that they should just stick with, 
with the shoes that that people want bringing back the, the og nostalgia of sneakers yeah. with some og cuts bring bring back the, the 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 shoes that people have passion for the colorways that people have passion for the colors that that he wore with the bulls are what a lot of people want a lot of these off the wall colors the younger uneducated people that are, are wearing sneakers want yeah the older people who either had them they crumbled couldn't afford them they were too young they they too small for them now they want the re-retros of the reimagined but the true reimagined with 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 that with that og flavor yeah. and the og flavor is is that aerodynamic cut and 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 look and the, the thin elephant print and you know people want to see that they want want to see it again yeah. you know you don't you, you haven't seen it since the 80s all this other stuff is high high cut you know it's, it's too light it's, it's not dark enough on the elephant print it's not it's not it's not the real the real look of the shoe mm, yeah. that people are certain i say certain people are looking for some people don't care yeah just give, give me that three give me that four but i guarantee you there's some people out here that want to see a look of the 1988 89 and 90 91 pairs they want to see that again mm -hmm. and maybe they can't get it perfect but you can get it close you can if it, you can reach out to people me Marvin, MJO23, Dan, Scholar23. There's a yeah, bunch of people that have yeah. the OGs that you could, I ship them to you. You can borrow it, just ship it yeah. back. Take a picture yeah. of the mold or whatever you need to do just to get it right. Get it right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think sales will go up. I'm a, I'm a tr true believer that it will go up if they got it right. Yeah. And stop yeah. raising the prices, but the quality is is the same or worse. Yeah. But they're telling us it's going to be this look, and it's not that look. You know. Well, I get oh. crazy I get crazy about this. I, I have a I, – I feel, I feel this. I, I, want, I want them to do better. Yeah. And they've done, they've done better with some of them. Have you seen the blacks, the, the white cement threes, right? Yes, that is the reimagined ones, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. yeah, you got it right. Now, look, look at that. Look at that cut. Look at that cut. Yeah, um, that's, that's a lower cut. Yeah. <clears throat> Man. Ralph, um, Flushing23 is asking if he can join the no, chat to a love. No, I was, I was about to, 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 to say that um, we don't normally do this, but for I know this moment is a great one for everyone else. So if you want to come on the live and ask any question or talk to um. Yeah. Japan, That'd Boston, be cool. please, That's please cool. feel, feel, feel free. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do yeah. it. That's cool. And right. um, also, um, Mark, right now, I don't think we can even ask you any question that <laughs> that's going to be worth it. So please, the floor is yours. Just I've show us any, some of the shoes in your collection and then let's talk about some of them. Um, yeah, I've got, I remember I've got one of your old, old YouTube videos. You used to do this thing where you started off, like, I think, was it a one to four? And then you did a four to... To, no, five to to another number, like you were showing your collection in 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 the yeah. number series. Yeah. So uh, maybe you could show us. I think I stopped at four, and four. I had some people. Four. Yeah. Can you start again at five and just show your collection, all your fives, all your sixes, all your sevens? I'm 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 going to do that no, again you, on YouTube. You did show the nines. You showed the nines. You showed the twelves, and I think the tens as well i saw some that's i i think i remember watching the tens too okay yeah i got nah, nah, let's, let's, let, let's do that and show and 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 start showing yeah showing more yeah yeah yes let's let's um i've accepted the live and then mark um some of the peas in your collection i don't I hope you don't mind showing us some of the peas in the collection oh i can i can do, do that while, yeah. while while he's on i can do yeah. that yeah yeah yo. what's, what's, up, what's up bro, bro. what's up Ain't nothing chilling. Uh, I just want to elaborate. I'm not sure to turn the camera around on because I'm not, oh, here you go. Uh, he was talking about some old cuts. I don't have like 90 ones and everything, but this is just something he might be talking about in regards to like 
these are 08s and they're low. So he talking about, you know, low cuts, high cuts and all that. Yes. <clears throat> and here are the royal version of those, you know. Mm -hmm. that I keep them in pretty good condition if I can, but this is this is like S B type yeah. material. You see how fat the tongue is and everything? Yeah. All the tongues are flat now, so just a big difference. Um yeah. this is a pair here he has in his collection as well. Yes, sir. Um, yeah, these are the Hall of Fame ones. Mm -hmm. I love my ones, so his are in better condition <laughs> than mine. But yeah, I'm just saying, like the the hype is dead now. I mean, it, and these are another pair. I think we spoke on which are the sapphires. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The nylon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And these are still in great condition. Bottoms clean, except for being dirty i mean they're pretty clean they stay up stay pretty nice so you know i mean there's something in the like oh this is something i mentioned in the chat i'm sorry uh if i can find them if they're here i will show up here they go these are the pair i was speaking on in the question section oh. mark is that oregon black or because I, I is it deep green or black it's it's dark Dark green, dark green. Okay, yeah, dark yeah. green. But the the duck feet black. are black. black. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I saw a Sugar Ray Allen um, PE as well. That's that's crazy. Yeah, that eight. Yes, sir. That's crazy. I have big bro. Yep. I, not, you still have that one need to come back, Flash. That one need to the miss fours. Yeah, I'm waiting on them, and they 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 brought back everything but these, so they lollygagging. Last, put them in the box and send it over. <laughs> if you're, if you're, Man. If you're, if you're hey, <laughs> I don't even have the box no more. I don't know. Um, I think that was at my sister house when I was living with her. I think they gone. The box is gone. Flash, you remember oh, these? Oh, hell yeah. Now, I these, remember are those. What, these are what were supposed to be the 13th. Oh. This is what. That was supposed to be. Mm. Oh, oh. Uh, the Eddie right. Jones, huh? That's Eddie Jones. Eddie Jones right here. Yeah. But these were supposed to be the 13th team. This was a prototype. They, but they didn't drop them. They decided to go with this look. I'm so glad they did. They went with them. And look, <laughs> you trying to tell me you wouldn't have bought these, yeah. sir? Come on now. Come on now. You would have yeah. bought these. If Mike played in these, you would have I, I bought, bought them, but 13s <laughs> now, the ones that exist, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know what I like? The Trunners. The Trunners was fly until they did that recall back in early 2000. Yeah, with, with the ones that were cutting people's heels. Yeah, yeah. Now, I, and then they brought I, them back. I, too, though. They did a recall on those, right? Mm-hmm. But I kept mine. <sighs> Mark, we got two questions. For, uh, one from Mumu Ko. Um, she's asking. Oh, he's asking. Okay. If if you had a chance to ask MJ any question, what would it be? And then the second question is from Two Three Four Life Collection. He's asking, yeah. what is the next must-have pair for you? There's the one that was recalled, Flash, with the metal. Yeah, um, man. I I made a mistake and turned mine in, so I kept mine. But um, the answer. Your question. Um, let me turn back around. Okay, two, three, four. Life collection is my guy. If you don't follow him, please do. Do it. No. He has, has memorabilia, sneakers, clothing. He got MJ motorcycle stuff. I don't even. Have. Oh, was he the, I don't the even one have he did the live with some time ago? Where you were talking about That's memorabilia? The man, this guy. <laughs> Man, I thought I, I had memorabilia. He got memorabilia out of this world. So one question I would ask MJ is, what keeps him from inter interacting with his, 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 the people who, who follow him? Like when you see him, people always ask him to take pictures or or trying to take pictures of him and he he won't allow it why not i mean i know i 
I respect people's privacy and all of that. But if people, if people see me out, I've been going strolling through the airport. I'll stop. Maybe it's maybe it's he's just uh, tired of it. Maybe. I would just like to know why he's so disconnected now. Where you see stuff when he was playing, when he, his foot was broken, he was sitting down. People come up to him, and he would gladly sign. But as the time went on, why did he get to the point where he didn't want to sign anymore? That that would be the question I would ask him. What made you stop? Was it because people were putting your stuff on eBay? People were selling it. Yeah. What 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 made you stop? That would be the question. Mm -hmm. And my next next pickup. I'm 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 going backwards with things that I miss. So I, I can't really say I I want both of the, the 17 the suitcases. And they were three hundred dollars. So I want both of those in a size fourteen. But coming up coming up will probably be the they still call them legend blue elevens, but I, I I'm stuck on Columbia because they're going to change they're going to make it look like the columbia with the jump man facing to the left on the left shoe do y'all know what that means no see on the retro starting in 2006 with the dmp the jump man started facing to the left or to the rear of the shoe on the left shoe it always faces to the front on the right yeah. but if you look at your ogs your originals the jump man on the left shoe faces to the front and that used to be on all of just the OG colorways mm -hmm. only. Mm -hmm. But now you look at some of the retros, they started doing that. But it used to just be for the OGs. So probably this year would be the Legend Blue slash Columbia. That's what I'm looking forward to. I, I, I think they should have kept it that way so that we can, we can tell the difference between the new up pairs and then the and older. I said, I said yeah. that. That's you what can tell what they, 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 they got away from that and started making some of the, and then started putting some of the Nike Air branding in, in some of these non-OGs too. Mm. Yeah. Mark, I'm a big fan of, of, of Iverson. I've never heard you talk much about Allen Iverson. Do, mm -hmm. do, 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 do you like Iverson's stuff I, as well? I, and what's your favorite, I, if you have any? I, I, I've never looked at Iverson's shoes to purchase. I, I I loved him as a player. I remember at Georgetown, he was he was rocking, you know, some of the MJ yes. shoes. Yeah. Before he signed with Reebok, and I was hoping he was signed with with Nike or Jordan brand. But you know, I, I was such a Jordan head. I I even like phone posits. <laughs> and if you follow, you you know, I I, I have some phone yeah. posits, phone posits pros, because I started branching out a little bit. And during my downtime with buying Jordans, was if something wasn't coming out that I really liked from Jordans, I, I started buying phone posits. So I'm, I'm big on phone posits, um, but I never really, never really wanted any Iversons to be honest. But I don't have anything against him or his shoes. <clears throat> I never thought about buying any, to be honest. And is there any pair of shoes in your collection that you would never wear or and let go of? Oh yeah, for no reason. Yeah, I told you the one the ones, yeah. from from Sam Coat. I have a, a another pair of the Last Shot 14s uh, um, that are OG from from '98, yeah. and I also have the recent pair of the Eights. I bought. I have two pair of those. I tried to get four pair, but I only could get two pair of the Playoff Eights. So I'll, I I have a second pair I'll never wear and never get rid of. I'll never get rid of the. Ray, Ray Allen 8s or the 13s, those. No, no you mentioned the phone pauses, big bro. I got a question. It's not about it's not about Jordan, but about his teammate. You know who the phone pauses were originally for, right? Yeah. Who I, it was supposed to be for. I forgot the name of the person. Scotty mm -hmm. Pippen. Scotty Pippen, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now what? What was the what? He didn't like them, or he he ended up like passing on them. Yeah, passed exactly. You passed them off, and then but he yeah, got the flight, it was kind of mad. but he ended up getting the flight ninety sevens, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And that was kind of like the same molding, but not as hard. To a degree, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I saw a story on that on ESPN about uh, who the, the phone posits were originally for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you and a mark. Not, any athlete shoes that are not with Nike. I have a pair of Shaqs. Um, huh. And I have a pair of KD. Well, KD is with Nike. That's a pair of Shaqs. That's that's the nine only non uh NBA player shoes that I have. Pair of Shaq, 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 Shaq you, you you mentioned that one of the biggest differences between the OG collectors and the newbie collectors is, is hype. But um how about this? What's the um um what's that one thing that you wish the newer generation would start doing more? Newer generation doesn't really interact with the older generation. I think we we should all inter interact with each other because we can all learn something yeah. from one another. I can learn something from the younger generation too. I'm not trying to be a youngster. I'm trying to be 61. I'm not trying to be a young cat, but I'm young cats are not gonna stop me from being me either. You know what I mean? I just, I just think it's a disconnect that they're saying all oh, these old heads are like this, and some old heads are saying these young cats are like that. Yeah. Where we, we all should be able to come in the same room. Yeah. And learn from one another. Yeah. You, you know, because I've, I've learned some stuff from, from my kids, and they're way younger than me. You know, and I've young learn some things from some younger sneakerheads being on the podcast that I'm on um, by just sitting and talking with them. Yeah. You know, they've learned some things from, from talking with me. So I, I just think that it's, it's a, it's a, it's a disconnect by age, mm. you mm. know, and, and by social media standard where old people are old and grumpy and, and young people don't know shit. And, <laughs> And really, we should be coming together to prove people wrong. Yeah, you know. Yeah, um, we've got a question from OG Sneak um, Sneakers, mm -hmm. and I. That's my guy too. Yeah, and this is a very good question. I 100% agree with. Is have you ever considered doing a book? Yes, and I've asked people if I should do a book, and the problem mm -hmm. with it, with it not being in motion right now, is somebody to write it. I'm not a writer. Mm. <laughs> But I can damn sure tell you yeah. from day one to now, you know, and it would, it would be, I think it would be a, a, a very good book on, on a person's life that's not, didn't come into this. Like, you know, you look at these celebrities, right? Mm -hmm. Before they had money, were they showing any shoes? Yeah. No. 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 But once they got money, they got, every shoe out because they can afford it they can go out and pay ten thousand dollars for a shoe you know like it's 200 for me 300 for me ten thousand for them is nothing yeah but I, yes i have considered that and i and i still would love to if i could find somebody to write it and that would, would want to you know go in full in with me you know i appreciate y'all i'm gonna skate up with one love i follow y'all too thank you love brother thank you right, thank you bro i'll talk thank to you, you. Um, OG Sneakers wants to come on, so I'm gonna accept the live. Um, now, yes, yeah, my god, uh, let me accept the one now, and then we stay on for about uh, let's stay on for the next 15 minutes, and then we, we call it a day, okay? How about that? And then, uh, but jump, but jump on Boston, we need to we need to share another time with you, bro. Yeah, let me let, let me come back again whenever, yeah. whenever you, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah, thank you, what, thank you. What's going, OG what's Sneaks, going on, big bro? Hey, yo, what's up, what's up? Hey, hey, triple. hey, hey, uh, I just want to tell you, look, start recording these stories. You, you'll find somebody to write the book, but just do it in your phone someplace so that you can dump a bunch of whatever on them and half of it will be written. I, I wish that I was in my journalism bag enough to write with you, but I do know the tricks, so we can talk about that. And I put it out there because you have to do it. Yeah. 
You have to do it's a, a book. Must. It's a must. You have to do a book, and Michigan is being disrespectful if you don't have a room or a museum someplace. Man. And I'm not, you know, we've talked about this before, so this is not me blowing smoke. This is just me putting it out there in the ether. Maybe it's a younger person out there, you know, that, that got the swag out connections and can make that happen, but it, it shouldn't. And the last thing I want to tell you to say is you are not regular. Stop saying that, bro. I love you and I know what you mean. You really mean that you're humble and you absolutely are. But you're not regular. You're, you're a treasure in this community. And treasures are special. They're not regular. So that's all I got. I'm going to jump off. I appreciate y'all's time. Appreciate y'all doing this. Um, keep connecting the bridges. Uh, I, I got in late, but I'm only a couple of months younger than my big bro here. And one of the first conversations we had gave me the green light to do the things that I wanted to do and that I'm still doing. So, you know, it's those connections. But I will say, because I got younger daughters too, I got a 24-year-old and a 21-year-old. So, but it used to be that we would talk to our elders. Yeah, yeah. And, and they liked that because people didn't come talk to them. And they had a lot of things to share. So if you, if it, so I, I would just, I would just offer to to the young cats and young ladies out there, talk, start up a conversation with someone that you know that's in the game but is older, and you'll be surprised how much you have in common with someone that is so much you know beyond you in years. And like like my big bro said, we learn things from you. My daughters keep me on game about so many things that I would not even necessarily be up on. Every uh, but at the same time, I can put them on, like, it, real quickly, my oldest daughter, most of her, some of her friends that know her music taste think that she's really old. But it's because she got that from me. She loves, you know, Frank Sinatra and Ella Fitzgerald and things that most people her age, unless they're really woodshed musicians, don't necessarily know about and game on. So, you know, just have those conversations. And to to us... Like, we got to be ready for the conversations, too. We got to be okay with maybe not necessarily knowing and, and hearing something that when you first hear it, maybe not disturbs your soul, but having the conversation further. So, you know, sometimes we can agree to disagree, you know, um, it's no, and it's nothing wrong with that. It's just always have the conversation, have the conversation. I appreciate you, big bro. I appreciate you all Let me jump on here. And I'm Wait, gonna, can, I, can I add one more thing to it? Sure, absolutely. Jeez. You know, another another brand that's really, really sleeping on, on doing something that they need to do, mm -hmm. Jordan Brand. I think Jordan Brand needs to give, I'm not saying this because Mark is here, but I believe, strongly believe Jordan Brand needs to reach out and do a collab with, with Jam Man Bostick. And it, it has to happen. They, 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 they're more than sleeping. They're dead on him. And I, I mean that, I don't mean that in a negative way. I yeah. mean, like, it's beyond just being asleep. He will never say this, and I understand it, and I, not in the way that I would say it. So I'm going to say it with my full chest. <laughs> Jordan Brand, are you sleeping? You're sleeping bad, and you need to wake up. You're dead. This is somebody who has, in, in a way, I'm going to say, this is just for me standing on the sideline looking dedicated their life but not because they wanted some you know, type of exposure yes. or some thank you but they just actually knows loves blood sweat and tears has basement of the jays 1.0 basement of the jays 2.0 when someone who worked for nike and created for nike created for nike calls this man and says hey can we borrow some of the things that you have like not in the archives, which you know yeah. people are touching with white gloves, and you gotta have a security check to go in there. They just called, and he graciously allowed them into his home, and, and then on top of that, allowed him to allow them to borrow these things to be able to celebrate someone else. So let's celebrate him. There's no reason why we don't have a JMV eight. Yes. There's absolutely yes. no yes. reasons yes. at all why we don't.
So I'm like, um, I'm like his flavor flav. I'm always <laughs> <confused>. <laughs> you No, if you don't know the reference, look it up. No. Uh, Public Enemy. I'll give you a place to look. But absolutely, um, you, that is absolutely the truth. Should be, and and I, I'm hopeful that uh, you know we'll all be around long enough to witness see it and witness yeah. it. But I also encourage those people that have platforms like what you all have and others, we have to lift that message yes. up because like we can sit in the barbershop or our conversation place and be mad and, and say, ah, oh, that's not right. But when we have the opportunity, when we have the ears of those people or when they're calling or you, whenever you're in the room, say so. Yeah. Here, just like um, M. Joe Dan did with the airship. You keep on saying it, you keep on saying it, you keep on saying so sooner or later somebody's gonna hear you. So I'm saying it. He needs to be in. Y'all, y'all, y'all are doing wrong. wrong. There's a reason why why Fat Joe shit him shoes. It's a reason why he has mayor's phone number. Like yeah. come on. Yeah. All right, I'm done. I hope I didn't take up too much time. <laughs> love, 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 love. I'll talk to you. All right, all right. <laughs> yes, sir. Mark, what, what, one more question um, for me. How do you stay so humble with everything that that you know in sneakers, everything that you have, and everything that you've experienced? And Betty Louise Bostic, my mother. She told me I was different growing up, you know. And she said, uh, you might not understand it, um but other people will and like og said you know those things i never say they don't owe me nothing in my mind i'm doing this because i'm i love to do you know they don't owe me nothing but if they want to open up give me something share something with me i'm i'm by all means open like when they came and asked me for my shoes you know, they say, you gonna let us borrow? Yeah, I'm gonna let you borrow. You know, I don't have nothing against you guys borrowing my shoes to celebrate somebody else. I was able to go to the event. I was able to meet him. He signed one of the shoes that he designed. All that, that, that means the world to me. You know, if Jordan Brand don't do nothing for me, Marcus has, um, Wilson has. Dwayne Edwards has, you guys have, you know what I mean? You yeah. guys have me here giving me an opportunity to talk and there's other people listening, ink and money. I mean, we're a river and some hours away from each other, but we're like brothers. Yeah. And, I, and, and, and I'm like that with 234 Life Collection. I've never met this man in my life, but we have each other's phone numbers. We, we, we talk to each other, we encourage each other. We, we listen to each other when nobody else yeah. will yeah. or when we we don't depend on anybody else yeah you know and i trust him talking to him that he won't that it's between us you can't do that with a lot of people yeah. i've learned you yeah. know so I'm, I'm just thankful man for the opportunities i have and i i take them all in and and what comes will come. It's it's never too late. Yeah, I I, I, yeah. I say that it's never too late. <clears throat> if it comes, if the museum comes, man, I'll be there every yeah. day yeah. to talk about shoes. People hit me up all the time saying, "Man, do you have this shoe?" When I have it, they get so happy that they're seeing this shoe again. And I had it as a kid. I forgot the name of it. That's what it's about to me, yeah. you know. Yeah. That that I'm able to help someone remember something that they once had. That means a lot. Jamban, final, final, final words for me. And um, I want to use this yes, sir. opportunity to, to thank you for everything that you've, you've been doing, everything that you, um, from even creating the YouTube page, from being approachable, from sharing your knowledge with us, sharing your passion with us. Um, um, I said this earlier, when, when I started Stinger Collecting, it was my cousin Duke that, that put me on. And he is a massive fan of yours. Like, he follows you from when you started your YouTube page and everything. And he put me on there. And we are both mm -hmm. Ghanaians from Ghana who now live in the UK. And you have, you influenced our, our lives um, in, in so much, so, so, 
many ways that you can't even imagine. And um, we haven't just learned the the passion for sneakers from you, but also um, so many life lessons from from you. The way you stay humble, the way you are you are who you are right now. We look up to you in so many ways. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for even being here with us. So it's an honor. Yeah, I love to come back. Just let me know when. Yeah, Ink, honey, I love you, brother. I love you, man. <laughs> My love, Ink. Top five, top five. Man. <laughs> man. Ink. And you guys, I appreciate you too, man. Appreciate uh, you. I'm so thankful for this opportunity. And and we got to do it again. Definitely. We have to. Definitely. We have Definitely. To. I know. Definitely. Big time. What time? What, what time is it? It's almost 4 o'clock p.m. It's 3.57 here. What time is it there? I'm just curious. Uh, it's yeah. almost 9 p.m. 9 p.m. here. Yeah. Yeah. Almost 9. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, thank you to, for, to everyone that has stayed on this live from the minute that it started. We've been on for two hours. This show will be nothing without all of you. So we are so glad that we had to share this moment with such beautiful and lovely people like yourself. So thank you all so much. And we wish everyone a great week. Jump on Bustic, we're out. Thank you, Mark. Yep. yep. Have a good one. Great. All right. Thanks.